Joined by Chiefs General Manager John Simone here in Tampa as the Nationals just played the Yankees. The Yankees won in extra innings. Big announcement today involving the Chiefs and the Nationals. Two more years at least the Chiefs and Nationals will be together in the player development contract. What does that mean to the organization? Well, it's just stability. I mean, you want to be with somebody for a while. Obviously, we've got a long time in the going 31 years, and now this will be uh, years four, five, this year four, and two more after that, five and six. So uh, it's something we're really looking forward to staying with them as long as uh, they want to stay with us. The relationship is great, and uh, like Rizzo, Mr. Werner, the whole organization is great. Could you have imagined the excitement that we've seen in Syracuse when you initially signed with that? Well, no, I don't think anybody did, but we knew Steven Strasburg would probably be that number one pick, and he'd be coming through Syracuse. We didn't think it would be that quick, and, and I think, of course, with the, the pick of Bryce Harper, and the possibility of him being in Syracuse uh, starting in April is, is uh, even more excitement, and a lot of the young kids that you and I have seen uh, down here, the Anthony Brendan, and, and uh, Matt Burks, and all those young kids are going to come through. We saw a lot of former Chiefs in the game today. The Yankees won an extra innings, but guys up and down the lineup card that used to play for the Chiefs, Greg Stammen, Adam Walpa, Severino, and all the way down the card, Ian Desmond. Watching these guys, I mean, 24 of the 40 guys from the 40 man roster are former Chiefs. Well, you know, they had to do that because they were kind of proficient in a lot of the players and the positions that they have, but now they're starting to fill up. It's going to backfill. Triple A and Double A level, which should mean winning seasons for Syracuse and the other lower levels. So uh, I think that's what the fans of Syracuse look forward to. Hopefully, a winning team. And I think the Nationals can say that for the next few years. So we'll continue to have winning levels. Opening day is a couple of weeks away. Can you feel it? And weather like this would be great. With 82 inside. We hope that Syracuse is, is now. So hopefully, it is. That's what we'll try and draw for you. April 5th is opening day. The Chiefs at home against the Rochester Redwoods. Join us for that.